Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing what is next in your love life. So, we have group one, group two, group three, group four and group five and I will put some crystals on these in a second. So, if you'd like to choose a group now and then I will just put some crystals on for clarification. So, let's put some crystals on now. So, these are the crystals for each group. We have group one, group two, group three, group four and group five and let's see what is next in your love life so starting off with group number one hello group number one let's see what's next in your love life so we have the gorgeous opalite i love this crystal so so pretty so let's start off with the fairy card we have peace of mind which is so nice and then we also have clarity which I love that they're both like a really similar colour. They're both green, which is really, really nice. Clarity, peace of mind. And we also have Honeymoon. Frog Spirit, another green card. Frog Spirit, Dolphin Spirit, this and that are true. Clear out the clutter. Now is a lucky time. Time for beginner mind. And then in the tarot, we have High Priestess, Four of Cups, Nine of Swords, The Fool, the Hermit, Star, and the Six of Wands. What I can see is what's next in your love life is I feel like you are kind of trying to get clarity on what's kind of going on. I feel like you're kind of getting rid of a lot of people that don't serve you. I feel like a lot to do with it as well to do with your mind and the fact that you are kind of bringing in this new beginner mind where I feel like your love life is starting a new leaf almost. I feel like you're, you've had a lot of in, internal things going on where you've kind of search for what do I really want, what do I really want out of life, what's going to really kind of serve me. So I feel like that's actually helped things to become so much more clearer. And I feel like with the Six of Wands, you're moving towards the Fall, which is a brand new beginning, something that is going to be really fulfilling for you and it's going to be really spiritual. I feel like you're moving towards a spiritual relationship. I feel like you're the sort of person who's gone through quite a few relationships where they haven't been good for you they've kind of you've almost like possibly given yourself too much of yourself if that makes sense it's almost like there hasn't really been a balance between how much do I give and how much do I receive sort of thing so I feel like this and that are true in the sense that the what you've gone through in the past has been a good thing even if it's not worked out because at the same time you're still learning how to deal with relationships and how to kind of deal with yeah deal with relationships and how much to give how much to receive and how to receive almost i feel like a lot of you are kind of going through an almost uh, not an identity crisis but you're going through how do i relate to myself in relationships so in terms of who's coming towards you i feel like someone is coming towards you um in the honeymoon phase so i feel like the new you're gonna gain a new person and it's gonna be really lovely it's gonna be very very spiritual and i feel like there is going to be a lot of mental clarity when you meet this person. I don't see, <clears throat> I don't see you, sorry, <coughs> I had a cough. I don't see you meeting them until, I've got, I'm, I'm saying like three, five and nine. So you are going to probably meet them like three to f three months and five months or nine months, quite a long time. But I feel like this time is like a refresher time. It's like clear out a lot of people, um, but it is a lucky time for you. So I, I genuinely feel like you will meet someone um, this year or the start of next year. Time for beginner's mind. So I feel like you need to really kind of engage this new you almost and to get out of your head and to realise that if there is anybody around, it's not a reflection on you. It can just be the fact that it's not the right timing yet, which really sucks. I know that's not the sort of thing you want to hear, but there is there is a good outcome from the hermit it's because you've worked so much on your internal ability and your internal emotions you've done that you've done all the work and i feel like you are actually ignoring any kind of offers that don't suit you whereas before i feel like you would have done that i feel like you would have gone for somebody who possibly wasn't the best type or wasn't kind of the most beneficial for your life but you think oh, okay do you know what i have no one around i'll just take this person i feel like you're kind of getting out of that and you're definitely going to have peace of mind when it comes to this new person so in terms of zodiac signs what i see is we see cancerian um pisces scorpio aquarius um gemini capricorn taurus who else anyone else aries sagittarius 
not really seeing Leo. I'm seeing also this person is quite um, quite shy. I feel like they're quite introverted as well. And they're really different. Like, I feel like they differ from the normal person that you're going to be with. I feel like, like from the past, I feel like you are kind of looking for somebody new that's different than what and everybody you, that you've kind of gone for before. There's something else I need to say. Let's get the overall outcome then. What's the overall outcome? I don't feel like the overall outcome is a star in the fall, but I just want to get another clarification on that. Strength. Okay, so maybe a Leo. Maybe a Leo is who you're dealing with. Um, or you're just kind of using your strength to kind of get through... Oh, kind of get through the situation that is so weird this pile of cards literally stuck under my leg so we have the ten of swords five of pentacles ace of swords the death card three of wands the knight of cups the queen of swords and the queen of wands queen of swords and queen of wands yeah so this is a lot of cards but i feel like we needed to see those so i'm just going to put these on here i feel like you've gone through a hell of a lot of shit <laughs> basically i feel like you are a scorpio as well you could be a water sign yourself or i'm seeing someone quite grounded with a bit of air in them so i feel like you could be like a mix of earth and air together um i feel like you've gone through quite a lot but i feel like this has really engaged your emotions it's kind of helped you figure out what you really want and i definitely feel like you're not going to go for less not that you've done that before but i kind of feel like you have almost like i feel like it's been a good a good situation for you though it's been like a really good thing for you to do because it's kind of working around how to figure out what's the sort of person that you want in, in your life and I feel like you're really kind of like your standards are proper rising now and you are being seen as this um king of cups and you're going to get a king of cups very soon definitely three months is very very high actually three months is like like the peak time so I feel like you could actually meet this person if you already know who this person is um, you could like reconcile with them or meet up with them. Um, I'm also seeing a connection to a dad, so I'm not sure what that's about. Possibly they have a good connection with their dad, or you have a, or like you're resolving issues with your dad. If it is the person watching this, I feel like you're resolving issues with your dad, or like from the past. Um, this could also yes, and your connection with relationships definitely that's quite strong. And then the person who's next to me, definitely three, three, five, six, and nine months. I feel like three is like the start of it. And they're also very close to their dad, or they're resolving issues with their dad, the person I'm connecting to as well. Not the person watching this, the person watching this, who's connecting with the person. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonates in the next few months. Um, obviously, this is timeless. So, it, if you click on this video like three months after I film this, then... It'll be three months after that. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is down below. I offer quite a few different readings. So um, you can have, there's all different price ranges there and different versions. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, um, the link is down below. Obviously, click the red button, not the link, the red button. And if you would like to like this video and uh, comment down below if this resonated, if it didn't, then let it fly. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello group number two. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. We have the gorgeous amethyst here today. So let's see what you have for your reading. So who's coming towards you in love? What's coming towards you in love? We have make music. We also have love yourself first. And from the crystal grid uh, deck, we have fun. There's definitely a lot of single energy guy kind of going on here. I feel like that needs to be there. Nah. Let's leave it like that. Okay, we're faffing. Right. <laughs> so from the Animal Oracle deck, we have the Koi Fish Spirit. There is always enough. A rebirth is assured. And spirit time to collaborate. Co-create with spirit. Crow spirit and badger spirit. Be fearless and bold. The Tarot. We have the Eight of Wands, which is fabulous. Love me the Eight of Wands. We have the Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I got confused. Six and the Seven of Pentacles, that's really cool. So we have like um, a kind of upgrade, which is really cool. So we have one, four and five, uh, 17 and 36. So I love the fact that we've got one, four and five. So I feel like you're very much upgrading. Um, I feel like this is a lot to do with your singleness. I feel like you need to be single for quite a while, which I know, I'm sorry, it's probably not what you want to hear, but in terms of love, once you get in that energy of loving yourself first and having fun and just doing things for yourself, 
um someone will come along because they're right in the middle this is my love card this is the collaborating with someone new um meeting someone after the storm they're telling me so i feel like because after your rebirth i feel like you need to go through a rebirth before you meet anyone new because i feel like you need to have t um free they're telling me free space around you to move and do things for yourself where there's no one kind of getting in your energy and kind of jabbing and interfering with this energy that's kind of new and fresh because you don't while you're going for a rebirth you don't want people kind of coming into your energy and really interfering i'm getting like this you don't want this you want like a nice smooth line if that makes sense so we have the six of pentacles and the seven of pentacles i love this because one the fact that we've got like a six and a seven so you're definitely as say upgrading especially as we have the one the four and the five so it's definitely like an upgrading like leveling up sort of thing which means you're working on yourself and you are bringing yourself up to a high level which is fabulous very proud of you for doing that and also we have um two different two pentacle cards as i say we've got the upgrading so with the six of pentacles it's basically like um balance wow my brain just went <laughs> is balance is coming together with um yourself balancing with yourself you are balancing out your relationships you're figuring out okay um how do i let's balance myself out first before we give to somebody else and we also see with the seven of pentacles it's almost like looking at your achievements looking at what's been going on in the past and thinking do you know what i'm really proud of myself for getting here at this point let's just keep going and keep working on ourselves so i want to get a overall outcome because a lot of this is quite single. Um, I feel like you are being fearless and bold. I feel like this fearless and bold card is almost like the strength card. Um, where you are kind of, you're in that energy of just kind of getting your strength back. And dealing with your own issues before you kind of get with someone else. And I love that we have with these cards, is a lot of them are quite similar colours. Can you see that? So they're all kind of reddish and green which is really cool, which essentially means you could be connecting with a fire or an earth sign. But also in a sense, you're kind of, I feel like they're telling me balancing out the earth and the fire. So you're balancing out like almost like the sexual kind of intimate side with the grounding and re relationship side. So you are figuring out how to deal with um, the intimacy and the, and the, or the bond, the connection. What's the word? Um, I totally forgot and it's totally gone out of my head. Commitment. The commitment side. So the, the intimacy side and the commitment side, you're kind of dealing with how how you com connect with that and how you connect with other people in that way. So you're not kind of overly being intimate with somebody and not having that connection or you're not being having or you're not having the connection without the intimacy. So it's kind of like that balance, that's what I'm saying. It's definitely a work it's like a work in progress they're telling me like I feel like there's like a sign in front of a door and it says work in progress where you can't really enter the room until the work is over that's kind of I feel like you're doing that which is really really good and I love this fun card um because it just it just shows a lot of like happiness it, I feel like this card I'm tasting like oranges so I feel like it feels like like summer it feels like happiness it feels like like the sun is coming out and it's that sort of thing so it's kind of like you're almost um i'm getting a lot of messages with you guys i feel like you're tasting new things so i feel like your rebirth is kind of like you're looking into new emotions you're feeling things differently you're not the sort of person you were say five months ago which kind of is a given but i definitely feel like that's definitely accurate for you guys and i feel like you could start um getting more into your relationships in the summertime or you could just yeah, I feel like there's more, the ball is rolling in the summertime, they're telling me. I'm seeing like an orange rolling down a hill now, which is really funny. So it's like, yeah, the ball is rolling in summertime. I get the most weirdest things. Also, <clears throat> excuse me, they're telling me that it's more refreshing in the summertime. I feel like it's more of a refreshing time where you're almost starting over. So we also have, there is always enough. And I love the fact that we have like an orange kind of situation because the koi fish is orange and this is orange. And I definitely feel like you feel like there's not enough. There's not enough people. Why am I not with anybody? But there will be someone coming forward and they are going to be really, really bright for you. Just make sure to um, trust with spirit. And to also collaborate with people that are new. And to just know that it is going to get so much better. Um, and you are going to be with somebody who really suits you as well. So, <clears throat> sorry about that. <laughs> Um, yeah, I feel like you need to communicate with yourself as well because my throat's getting really stuck. Um, what's the overall outcome, please, for this group? Thank you very much. Thank you. Queen of Wands. Gorgeous. Getting in your power, which is really, really nice. Can we have... 
few more, please. What's this Queen of Wands? Thank you. The Emperor, the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the Six of Swords. That is amazing. And underneath, hey, we have the lovers. Gorgeous. Basically, the overall outcome is the Queen of Wands, the Emperor, and the Queen of Cups. So I feel like there's going to be someone who is going to see you and they're like I love how they're right in the middle so we have these two queens and then in the middle we have this guy so I feel like you could have either two options um or you kind of as I say this is definitely what I was feeling when I said about establishing the commitment side and the sexual and the, and the sexual side yeah that's definitely that because I feel the queen of wands is the intimate sexual side and the queen of cups is the emotional side so you're definitely um establishing that connection and it's almost like both sides of both sides of you are coming together and you're going to be with this gorgeous emperor who's very very stable um and they're, they've also walked away from people who don't serve them and serve you and now that you're doing that you're going to be in a really good commitment i'm seeing about yeah five months for you guys i'm seeing um yeah i'm seeing a little bit more time because i feel like you guys need to move through this rebirth uh first so thank you guys so much for watching if this resonated with you uh comment down below obviously if it didn't then i always say let it fly and if you would like to get a personal reading with me all the information is down below i had do quite a few different readings so whatever you prefer it's all down below i also do love readings so if you want a love reading that's down below also if you'd like to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel press press the red button it is free thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you very soon bye hello group number three thank you so much for being here let's see what's next for you in love we have this gorgeous blue stone which is to do with communication so i feel like a lot of you are going to be communicating in the next few months <laughs> also this video is timeless so if you have seen this video a little bit later than when i actually uploaded it then it still it still relates okay so we've got quite a few cards here so let's get started we have the look inside yourself which is gorgeous love that that's really cool um, we also have attraction worth waiting for retreat chemistry and wedding so a lot of love cards i felt the need to just pull out loads of love cards for this reading um we also have turkey spirit give with gratitude and grace the armadillo spirit set healthy boundaries and then from the crystal grid deck we have inspiration and heart protection and from the tarot we have the moon three of cups the hierophant the magician and the page of cups so I definitely feel like someone's going to come towards you with an offer. I feel like there could be a Pisces coming towards you with an offer. This is literally what I was feeling like when I said about communication with this stone. 100%. That's exactly what I feel like is coming towards you. I feel like your communication is getting so much better. Like it's so much smoother. I feel like before there was a massive blockage. But now it's like really smooth. It's like really moving through. I can see like a really thin tube of plastic and i'm seeing like water running through it so it's almost like i can see the movement going through the pipe and it's almost like this was blocked this pipe was blocked and i feel like this is your your esophagus your throat i don't know what the name is but <laughs> this just this area the throat area that was blocked and now i can see i can see like liquid i can see like movement water running through so i feel like emotions are starting to come out and your your aura i feel like is getting more clearer so i feel like whatever you're doing you're cleansing i feel like cleansing is really good for you as well if you haven't cleansed for a while make sure to cleanse make sure to release any emotions any um feelings that aren't yours so just a little kind of tip is what i say when i want to release uh, things from a, a certain reading just so i don't connect with this person any longer so my energy is mine i say i now release any energy and any emotions that aren't mine okay so but i'm not doing that right now okay <laughs> i still need to connect to your reading so i definitely feel like you have worked on your emotions you've worked on all your kind of worries and seeing the intensities um control so possibly you had control issues i want to say and now you're celebrating and you're possibly coming towards somebody who with an offer or somebody's coming towards you with an offer but this is going to take a little bit of time because i feel like the commitment isn't there yet i feel like there's a connection of some sort that you've almost connected with somebody sorry i thought there was something on the floor um there's definitely a connection where you have connected with somebody but it, but the when it comes to actually a commitment it's not there yet so i feel like it's time to just wait and the hierophant will come in and kind of set these boundaries and kind of put his staff down and be like right there's going to be a commitment now but i feel like it's going to take a little bit of time and then almost i feel like this is almost kind of like the world card where things are going to change 
um, we have the magician so basically anything is possible I definitely feel like someone is coming towards you with an emotional offer in the next three to five months I'm seeing um, I'm seeing three weeks as well so I feel like those time frames are quite um, significant just kind of um, if as I say this video is timeless so if you if you watch this video it will be that time frame when you've watched this video so three months after you've watched this video not from when I uploaded it okay if that makes sense so you are kind of protecting your heart I definitely feel like you are protecting your heart in a very balanced way which is really nice you're not blocking it off you're not blocking off any emotions you're not blocking off any kind of offer I feel like you're using this to your best ability where you've got a really nice balance of kind of like okay I love myself I want to love somebody else but not to the detriment of my own health sort of thing I'm not going to love someone where I actually don't feel balanced I'm going to love someone where it's going to be balanced okay which is really really nice I definitely see that with a set healthy boundaries 100% for sure and I feel like you've actually been giving a lot of gratitude to the universe and saying thank you for all my blessings and I feel like if you're feeling stuck then I definitely feel like um manifestation is going to be really really good for you but I feel like you are manifesting I feel like um with your threat as I said with the communication I feel like you need to communicate how you really feel to people um, and this will help manifest because it will help things to flow and I'm also seeing um, certain quotes, <laughs> this is a quote, quote marks, so you can say a certain quote to manifest something. So if it's like you want to kind of look into manifestation quotes I'm seeing, um, there's probably one that really clicks with you and just stick with that. Also I'm saying to the universe that this is fine I'm saying that okay <laughs> sorry I'm just communicating with the guides because I do this sometimes in readings and they say stop doing that because you actually mean what you're saying okay <laughs> all right I'm stopping now so um so we have attraction or I'm worth waiting for which is really really nice so there, there is definitely a person okay this is so nice okay I literally just saw a massive lovely timeline it's so gorgeous okay so what I'm seeing is we've got attraction and worth waiting for so there is somebody who you know this is for some specific people. This is only going to resonate with the people that I'm like connected with. Okay, so for the few people that I'm connected with, I feel like it's actually quite a lot of you who have clicked this reading. You know someone that you're attracted to, and you're almost waiting for them to come forward with an offer. But at the moment, you are in separation, and but you do have chemistry, and chemistry will come after this separation. Okay, and then afterwards, we see a wedding and commitment. So it doesn't mean you will actually marry this person. This could just mean that there's commitment. So that's basically what is I'm seeing. It's just so gorgeous. But for now, the universe is telling you to look inside yourself and to see if there's anything you kind of need to get in all the nooks and crannies. I'm seeing like water kind of trickling through those rocks and kind of getting really in all the crevices. So I feel like that's what you're doing right now. And I feel like this is going to cause inspiration. I don't know why I'm saying cause, but that's what I'm saying cause and effect they're telling me with inspiration I feel like you're gonna have quite a lot of inspiration and insight going through this separation I feel like it's actually really good for you because your your mind is expanding I feel like you're actually expanding your mind somehow you could be learning something new while you're away from this person you could just be learning from this situation I feel like also or you're finding out ways to protect yourself and ways to um, give yourself that love without that person in your life yet and then once you've kind of worked this out um, it's gonna almost birth a new beginning. So I'm seeing like a birth. I'm seeing like the Empress energy. We haven't got the Empress, have we? No. So I'm seeing this Empress energy where she births like a new thing, and that's with this person, which is really, really nice. So that's what's coming towards you. I feel like I want to just get one more card just to see if there's any overall energy that's coming towards you. Queen of Pentacles, gorgeous. So that Queen energy is right there. She's established, she's worthy, she's got this like gorgeous like yas boys look at me. <laughs> Obviously if you're a guy, yas girls look at me. <laughs> yas. Okay so we also have the five of swords. Can we have one more please? What's this? Page of cup, what's the overall energy please? Thank you. <laughs> this landed so nicely on my chair. We have the Queen of Cups, which is really nice. So I see balance. So we've got the Page and the Queen, which is really, really nice. So I feel like the person that you're connected to kind of sees you as like a queen. And you're like, I'm not worthy, I'm not worthy. But once they figure out that they are worthy, they'll come towards you. They need to work on that as well. Um, so with this Five of Swords energy, I feel like you're breaking boundaries, they're telling me. You're breaking old cycles, old karmic cycles, any deceit. You're getting rid of toxic friendships, toxic relationships. And you're coming into the queen energy. We've got the queen and ones underneath. So you're really kind of empowering. You've got this sexy energy. And you're really getting in there with like 
what you really deserve okay so thank you so much for watching there's also a song that's coming through oh um i don't know what this song is called i'm gonna say it's what you're waiting for it's like what you're waiting what you're waiting what you're waiting for sorry about my singing but <laughs> i didn't know how to explain it so that's what i'm hearing so also there's nobody here i meant to say if there's nobody here in this energy um there will be somebody coming very soon who you're really attracted to they might they might differ from what you're normally used to but they're gonna be really good and the energy is really like sparking i'm seeing like sparks like almost like nerve endings but i'm seeing like the nerve sparking and kind of attracting and cause effect is causing some sort of effect on you okay which is really really cool it's kind of like a sexual intimate energy and also like a really like oh like i'm awakened sort of thing okay so thank you so much for watching if you would like to please subscribe to my channel also i do private readings down below i do love readings too so if you want a love reading um i have a love situation reading and a love reading so i can do a reading on the person you're connecting with or someone in your future so thank you for watching if you would like this video please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below if it's resonated if it doesn't resonate then just let it fly so thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you very soon bye guys okay hello group number four let's see what's next in your love life we have this gorgeous green crystal, which is so, so pretty. It's to do with grounding and also your heart chakra, possibly your throat chakra as well, I'm getting. So we have a vacation, which is so nice. We also have let go of control issues, engagement. And then from the crystal grid oracle, we have communication. What did I say about communication? I feel communication coming through and communication is here. So we have communication and peace, which is really nice. I love that combination. So from the Animal Oracle deck, we have You Are Never Alone, uh, Otter Spirit, Act As If, Chameleon Spirit, Time To Let Go, Groundhog Spirit, Be Here Now, Hummingbird Spirit, and Reclaim Your Power, Panther Spirit. From the Tarot, we have Justice, Three of Pentacles, The World, and The Hangman. So, <laughs> there's so much information here. So, what's next in your love life? I feel like you need to let go of control issues or you're in... The kind of mix i'm seeing like a sphere and it's like turning like this and i feel like you're kind of in the middle of this energy right now you're kind of figuring out um what to release what to do what to sort out clearing out clutter that sort of thing you're in the middle of this and i feel like once you figure out maybe possibly your control issues or issues to do with control around relationships i feel like this will stop turning and it'll become still and you'll be able to see more of clearer it will be able to see clearer it'll be less fog okay so we also have vacation i feel like you need to take a vacation or uh yeah i actually seen you want to travel you could meet someone while you're traveling okay so you are never alone there is someone coming towards you this card is my love card as well that and the time to collaborate this one's more of a love uh situation though so i feel like you're, you're definitely going to meet somebody and i feel like you're going to meet them when you're your most authentic because we have act as if and i feel like this comedian like really kind of lets out his colors i feel like he blends into the background as well but i feel like that's kind of like the past so i feel like it's your past situation is you used to blend into the background or you used to not want to be seen and now it's like the universe is giving you opportunities to be seen it's like mm, come on you know what to do so also with that come on you know what to do energy <laughs> we've got time to let go so I definitely feel like there's a letting go of old people and you're going to have justice with certain situations. The, the, sort of, like the sword is going to go down like a, as a gavel, that wooden thing. I don't know what it's called, a gavel. I think it's called a gavel. I'm, I've no idea. But that thing where it's like, <clears throat> it's official. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> it's the end of that cycle. So I definitely feel like you are letting go of old situations. I'm saying old situations because it's like old dealings with people so you're letting go of previous energy that's negative un unresolved energy you are letting go of um, and you're kind of working through that and it's also i feel like you're letting go of, of yeah definitely when i said let go of control issues this is that control because the heart he's holding his heart right close up to him hopefully you can see that so i definitely feel like it's control of people controlling people and relationships and figuring out you can't always do that you can't ever do that you can't control people and the outcome so it's almost like what is this what is this um 
It's not control. It is control, but it's something else as well. Uh, codependency. Okay, it begins with a C. I know it did. Codependency. So you're letting go of that as well, okay? So the universe is telling you to be here now and reclaim your power. So there's definitely a single vibe going on. I feel like you're not going to meet someone for the, probably the next six months. I know it's quite a long time, but I definitely feel like the next six months, I reckon you're probably going to meet somebody because you still need to work on your own power and to realise that being in the moment is the most precious. I know it's hard, but, it, you know. But the funny thing is, I'm also getting three weeks and five months. So just kind of maybe write those things down. Uh, I'm also getting um, January and October. Okay, so you can meet this person around that time or your birthday or their birthday could be in that time. I don't think getting Aquarius. So I definitely feel like some of you are Aquariuses or <laughs> Aquariuses or your person is an Aquarius if you're connected with somebody. Definitely getting October as well. So you probably have Aquarius Scorpio relationship possibly. Um, I also feel like this person has green eyes as well. And we also have the Three of Pentacles and the World. So I feel like you're, once you establish yourself, I feel like you're, is it once you've established yourself in the world or you are establishing yourself in the world and you're collaborating with more people and definitely there is a time for travel because we've got the world and vacation so i definitely feel like you are doing that you're traveling or somebody could be traveling towards you which is really cool and we also have the hangman so i definitely feel like when you're traveling you're going to be in this position in your love life where you're like you know what i'm just kind of hanging in there you know just kind of waiting for somebody to come along and somebody will i feel like i can see uh a guy with a backpack and he's really well travelled so I definitely feel like you could meet someone who's well travelled I'm getting Pisces, Virgo Capricorn, Taurus Cancerian vibes okay so that's kind of the people that I'm, I'm picking up we also have peace as well and I feel like this is to do with the Aquarius I'm not sure why they're telling me that because it's spiritual, it's a spiritual connection um, and spirit is guiding you through this connection that, you, that you're going to have in the future or you have now, um, and and they're basically telling me if this is a right if this is the right connection if this is this is the divinely guided connection it's not a connection with control um, it's like a flowing relationship then they are helping you with that and they're also helping you to release anything that doesn't that needs to let go of it's like baggage you're moving through the baggage and the kind of the gross misty crap. <laughs> Great wording, Vicky, great. Um, so you also have engagement. And I feel like you're gonna be engaged with somebody. You're also engaging with yourself, your core, the core values, they're telling me, the core right here. And that's um, in between the heart chakra and the sacral chakra, I'm pretty sure. And that's to do with uh, obviously love and unconditional love. And then we have the, um, yeah, cause I picked up on the green as a heart chakra, that's funny. So we have the heart. Sacral, it's to do with ego. I want to say commitment as well. Like commitment to your goals, confidence, and expression. And that's all connected to your throat. So yeah, it's kind of like dealing with those two. Being seen and loving yourself as well. So that's really cool. There definitely is someone coming towards you that's just a little bit, quite a long time. I'm being like, when I say quite a long time, I'm saying like five months. So that could be nothing compared for some of you, but that could be quite a long time for some others of you. I want to get two more cards. What's the overall outcome for this um, connection, please, with this person? Yeah, definitely Pisces vibes. This person's like a like watery. They're really watery. Courage, which is really nice. I feel like that's almost like the strength card. So yeah, it's like you're traveling, like courage to like go forward and travel, do something that's out of your comfort zone as well, but in a good way, it's gonna be like, you're gonna enjoy it. It's not like, oh my God, I don't wanna do this. It's like, not like going somewhere new by the skinny of teeth. It's like, I, I really fancy going on holiday. Do you know what I mean? That's, what, that's that kind of thing. And we have love, which is gorgeous. That is exactly the energy we have. Underneath we have balance. So you're definitely balancing your emotions um, and the thought of kind of traveling, I feel like it's very enticing to you at the moment. It's expansion. You're expanding your horizons. So we have the six of wands as the overall energy. Okay, what's the, what is group four going towards with this six of wands? Thank you. You're coming out of the hangman, okay? So once the hangman is dealt with, once you've, once you stop hanging and you're almost moving, the three of swords, you're going to be clearing out some stuff to do with the past, maybe a third party situation that you dealt with in the past, maybe it might come back again, but you're going to be like, no, thank you. And then you're going to be moving towards the page of wands, which is a travel card, which is really cool. Leaving behind 
yeah this is i feel like you could actually be moving to a different country as well you're kind of leaving literally leaving everything behind physically as well like packing your bag and saying bitch i'm out <laughs> and then we also have the six of pentacles so yeah definitely working on yourself working on your pentacles and regaining balance i also saw the ace of ace or judgment judgment i saw the judgment so yeah so you're definitely going to get some sort of clarity at some point but i'm not seeing it for quite a while but there will be something coming in that you feel like they're a water sign or an air sign okay so i really hope this resonated with you uh as i say this is timeless so hopefully it resonates at some point <laughs> um if it did then comment down below if it didn't then just let it fly also if you'd like to subscribe to my channel the uh, red button's right down there click it it is free if you'd like to see more videos from me and also if you'd like to get a private reading with me all the information is down below and you can get a love reading i do a love situation reading and a love reading uh, this is basically a situation that you already have with somebody and I also do a reading about your future partner So whatever you prefer, I also do that as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and for being here I appreciate you so so much. Thank you and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello group number five Let's see what you guys have for what's coming next in your love life. We have this gorgeous Labradorite It's so pretty amazing for manifesting as well. I've got to say so um, That's really good if you want to start manifesting. So first of all we have the manifestation oh my god <laughs> that is so funny <laughs> oh my god i love it when that happens oh pure joy right now pure joy um okay so we have the animal spirit deck we have know your worth uh nothing is wasted skunk spirit and vulture spirit flamingo spirit embrace in between wolf spirit turn knowledge into wisdom dog spirit be loyal to what you love and seahorse spirit watch and wait okay that is the manifestation right there watching and waiting there's a lot of animals going on here so that's really really good could also mean you have a lot of options okay mm. you go girl or guy <laughs> so we have detoxification and feeling safe from the romance angel deck we have playfulness children keep an open mind and deception and in the tarot we have the ace of wands the sun the two of wands Ten of Cups, Two of Swords, Temperance, Knight of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, and we also have the Four of Wands. Gorgeous. You guys are in such a good element right now. You are so ready to settle down with somebody, or, or you're so ready to just date someone who's so worth it. <laughs> like someone who's really good. You have been cleansing, you have been clearing, you have been letting go of old crap. You're like, get it off me, I don't want it anymore. You have been doing, I'm seeing yoga, I'm seeing exercise, I'm seeing a lot of movement. You've been really working on yourself and working on feeling safe because I feel like a lot of you could do, um, could have a strong connection with relationships where you kind of cling on a bit too hard and I feel like you're almost dealing with that now and you're really kind of getting into the deep stuff. And you are manifesting a really nice person. You are definitely working on your worth because we have nothing is wasted. We have know your worth. And just know that nothing is wasted. So if you have gone, gone, gone through quite an intense time in your love life, that is not wasted. That is definite knowledge that you can turn into wisdom. It is something you can use in the future as well to help you deal with relationships. So we have someone coming in who's really balanced, possibly an Aquarius or an Earth sign. Uh, Knight of Pentacles. I feel like can also be a water sign i'm not really seeing fire here okay i'm back so i'm sorry if the camera angle has changed or anything but my battery died so we're carrying on <laughs> i'm probably going to repeat myself but apologies but we're still going to go through it <laughs> so yeah as i said you're manifesting <laughs> with the laboratory right? and um yeah and it's, it's everything's going to come into fruition we've got the ten of cups with the four of wands so we have definite commitment here and there's definitely going to be a really good balance with an earth sign. I'm, I'm very sure of that. Um, I feel like you're coming away from the deception. And someone who's wearing a false mask is no longer going to be wearing a false mask anymore. I feel like this could also involve children for some reason. I'm not sure how it involves children. Because unless you have children, then yes, it will involve children. Um, I feel like also they, you could be quite playful with this person. Because we have playfulness and children right next to each other. So I feel like you could just be quite childlike with this person and make you feel really good. So that's the sort of person that's coming forward. Um, and we definitely have an offer of um, attraction, someone who's really attracted to you, and an offer of love as well. And obviously with the four of wands, which is amazing, which is so good. So I definitely see you guys um, coming into your own. I see you also possibly traveling or your world is just kind of, kind of flip and you're going to start a new life. Um, I feel like you could also 
be indecisive about this person or a new way like of life so i feel like you might think about traveling um you can also debate whether you actually want to be with this person because you're not sure like oh i actually feel like also either that or you're going to be with this person you're going to be like talking to them and they're going to say oh i really want to be committed to you and because it's been so long like you've been waiting for them for so long it's like oh my god <laughs> didn't actually think this would happen i don't really know what to do now so i feel like also if someone comes towards you i feel like you might actually kind of be like i don't know what to do because in my past people tr treated me really badly but don't look back on the past okay because watch and wait it will be really good and also be loyal to what you love be loyal to the person who you actually want to be with like do you want to be with this person is there someone coming towards you if not if you're completely single there's no one around just be loyal to what you love keep doing what you absolutely love doing also if there is somebody still be loyal to what you love doing um i feel like you'll connect to someone with um blue eyes as well they could also i feel like pisces is quite prominent here too and earth signs and we also have turn knowledge into wisdom so definitely as you're going through this process of being single and kind of figuring out what you want um, I definitely feel like there's wisdom is going to come forward through this and I feel like you're going to get a lot of wisdom before you meet this person or before you even reconcile with this person that you know who it is. Um, also even just before you meet this person um, if you don't already know who they are. So embrace the in-between and this is very similar to nothing is wasted. Just embrace um, the middle of what's happening. Just embrace the kind of limbo phase and nothing is wasted with this situation. Um, you're going to learn a lot from this situation. I know learning is sometimes really boring. I know, <laughs> I've been through enough shit in my life to know that it's fucking boring. But you will get through this um, and just know your worth. Keep bringing it back to yourself and know that you are capable of love, you are loved, you are lovable. Um, and just repeat these things to yourself. And as I say, I feel like manifestation is really good. So if you find a quote that's really like good for you, stick with it. And I feel like put quotes around your room that give you um, some sort of kick to like bring up the deep stuff so say if you have something to do with your identity and you're thinking i don't really know who i am anymore just say I'm, something like i'm confident with who i am or i embrace who i am um or i'm learning who i am that sort of thing it's like just kind of bring up something that's not i feel like supporting is like cradling like supporting giving yourself support in areas where you don't feel supported so just like in your certain emotions that you feel are quite like say dangerous get me with a dangerous that are quite um intense and are out of control you're kind of almost giving that side of you permission to kind of come up and you're supporting it as it comes up almost like a child or a newborn baby where you're really supporting it and kind of giving it love uh, i feel like you definitely need to start doing that or carry on doing that but yeah i definitely feel like there's a really good person coming towards you it's just it's so amazing guys like you have the ten of cups the temperance the four of wands, the ace of wands and the sun. I mean, I'm really glad that spirit wanted me to pull out all these cards. Like, there is five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, nine cards here. I don't really pull out that many, but these are all positive. Like, look at that. So amazing. There's going to be a sexual connection. There's going to be commitment. It's, you're going to be traveling together, I feel like. Sorry, I haven't actually knows. <laughs> and I definitely feel like this person's going to come towards you once they sort out their finances as well. And you're also going to be sorting out your finances while you're waiting for this person or while well before they come in or before you meet them okay so also they're telling me to keep working on your finances as well like really get in there also if you want to start your own business they're telling me that that's really good to start that now because it's gonna also before you meet somebody it's only really good to start business because you're not distracted by somebody especially if they're really hot <laughs> and you're really attracted to them it's gonna be a massive distraction <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if this resonated with you and it resonates in a couple of months time, possibly come back to this video. Also this video is timeless. So any time frames that I've said in this video are relevant from the date that you watch this video, not the date that I've uploaded it. Um, also, if you'd like to get a private reading with me, all the information is down below. I do love readings. I do love situation readings. I do any sort of reading. So if you would like to get a private reading with me, all the information is down below. And if you'd like to subscribe, it is free. The red button is down there. Thank you so much. And if you'd like to like this video, comment down below. And if it didn't resonate, then just let it fly. And I'll speak to you very soon. Love you guys. Bye.